There's only two things that keep us stuck, our ego and our blind spots. And a lot of the time, our ego covers up our blind spots. We almost refuse to keep our eyes open for other alternatives, for other ways of doing things because our ego wants to stay protected and comfortable. And it wants to think that it knows it all, that it can do it itself. Well, guess what? It's exactly why you're stuck. It's exactly why you're broke. Exactly why you're fat, ugly, and poor. I know I'm coming out the gate swinging here, but I wish I heard this message a few years ago. I really wish I did. And that's why I'm making this video to help you if you feel stuck right now. Maybe not even if you feel stuck, just objectively, if you are stuck. If you've been doing 5K a month, 10K a month, 20K a month in your business for more than the last 90 days, guess what? You're stuck. You plateaued. And that's not good because as humans, we always want to progress. We want to keep growing. We want to keep building. We want to keep progressing and moving forward, expanding, getting bigger, getting better, getting stronger, getting faster, making more money, keeping more money, multiplying our money. When we stay stuck, when we plateau, that's like, like, what's the point? You don't want to get to your goal and then just be like, okay, cool. I got it. And then you just chill. That's not very fulfilling, is it? Yeah. Celebrate your goals. Be happy for a few days. Get back to work right? Like what's, what's next? We don't just do the thing. And then we're like, cool. Been there, done that. Got the stamp, got the medal. Let's go. Let's get out of here. No. And I see this a lot, especially after taking an ungodly amount of sales calls in my career by now. I see a lot of people lie to themselves and I'm guilty of this too. I've done this a lot because in full transparency, I've had tendencies where my ego is hard to keep in check. Let's put it that way. And the biggest periods of growth in my business, in my life, in my fitness, in my relationships have always come after dropping my ego, keeping it in check and doing what's uncomfortable. Because guess what? There's no growth in comfort. And if you actually want to grow, you want to develop, you want to get bigger, stronger, faster, richer, more attractive. You're going to have to do things that your current 1.0 self right now is not used to doing. The things that make you uncomfortable. Guess what? It's not you. That's the important distinction to take away from this video. It's not you that you're making uncomfortable. It's your ego and your current character. And if you want to get to that 2.0 version of yourself, that's also not you. That's just another level of your character. It's like with new levels come new devils. And chances are, if you've been stuck for a while, you're probably getting tested by new devils that have come at this new level. And you might be growing, right? If you look over the last couple of years, you're probably doing a hell of a lot better. I hope you're doing a hell of a lot better than you were six, 12, 24 months ago, right? But when you actually want to improve and you're serious about it, like the only way to speed up your growth is to do those uncomfortable things that suck, that are painful. But guess what? It's not, you're not inflicting actual pain on yourself. It's, it's your ego. Like a, a month ago, I hired a new coach. It cost me more than my entire, like my credit limit on my credit card. I had to send cash to my credit card to increase my spending limit for that day. And that hurt, it hurt my ego. Oh gosh, was he uncomfortable. I was cr like cringing inside. It hurt. Then I was like, ah, no, 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 Jeremy. It's not you. You, Jeremy's that higher version, that 2.0, that next level. That's who you are. That's who I want to be. That's who I want to become. So I need to act like it. Would 100K a month, Jeremy, would a million dollar a month, Jeremy, hesitate to spend 10K? Or no, sorry, it was, it was a lot more. It was more than 10K. <laughs> let me uh, let me get that straight. But would he hesitate on doing that when he's doing that kind of cash? Not a chance. No, he would say, OK, will this help me get closer to my goals? Yes or no? If yes. OK, is this what I need right now? Do I feel stuck? Have I been stuck? I've been making kind of the same amount of money in my business for the last few months. Yes or no? Yes. All right, cool. Here's my credit card. Let's do it. Quick decision. It doesn't have to get me to a million dollars a month. I don't want it to. I don't need it to right now. I'm not ready for that. Clearly, if I were, then I'd already be doing that. But clearly, I've got some growing and some developing to do with myself because my business is just is simply just a reflection of my internal growth as a man and as an entrepreneur. Nothing else, nothing less, nothing more. And when you identify that and you can kind of disconnect and detach yourself from your business and from your ego and you do the things that are uncomfortable, you lean into that discomfort. You say, hey, this sucks, but good. I'm glad it does. I'm glad it hurts. Bring it on. That's how you know you're ready for the tests. You're ready to level up when you have that mindset. But if you're like in scarcity mode, you're like, eh, it's, it's a lot of money. I'm just going to keep saving up. And bro, nobody got rich saving up. You kidding me? <laughs>
If you believe that and that's the story you've been telling yourself, you've probably just been relying on organic marketing or you're probably an organic marketing coach yourself watching this. If that's the case, I'm sorry. There's no hope for you, but <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. It's hard to keep a straight face. I just know how bad organic sucks. Cold outreach. Gosh, I feel bad for anybody stuck doing that. But anyways, the moral of the story is you need to drop your ego. And that's going to help you identify your blind spots. For example, I've had a lot of blind spots with my own business and my own self, my own personal performance. And it wasn't until I dropped my ego because like, I kept telling myself for the first like six months of the year, I can do this, right? I'm just going to keep doing this. Like I can figure it out on my own. I can do it on my own. I was like, I was doing okay. You know, like I hit it like an 80K month, like chilling, right? And then I was like, well, that's kind of dumb. There's clearly a lot of shit that I don't know. And so I hired a coach and he's like a, a leadership coach, helping me become a better leader and a better man and really following through with my word and holding me accountable to things. And the amount of blind spots that he has helped me identify is incredible. And then I just put up a 50K week out of nowhere, but it's not out of nowhere at all. It's because of the blind spots that he was able to help me identify. I wasn't even aware of because my ego was so inflated. It's like, oh, I just came out as 80K month. Like I'm, I'm and chilling. I was in Europe for a month, flying out some honeys I met in Greece to the Swiss Alps, rented a boat in Switzerland, you know, like it was good for the ego. Felt like the man. You can't do that if you're an organic marketing coach. But like, I thought I was the man. And then I was like, Jeremy, you're still broke. Like, think about all the money out there. I'm playing so small. I've been thinking so small. And to think like an 80K month is a lot of money and that's a big month. Just then and there, I'm limiting myself because now I put that on like a pedestal. I'm like, oh, I'm chilling. Oh, I just did this thing. I don't need to do it again. Uh-uh, uh-uh. That's the wrong kind of thinking. What you really need to do in order to actually progress, say, hey, I did this thing. Cool. How did I do it? What decisions led to that? What actions led to that? And how can I continue to do that and more? How can I do more? How can I continue to grow? Like a lot of the time, you don't really know. You don't, like don't really know the answer. So you find somebody who's further ahead of you to help you point that out and identify those blind spots. And then once you do, you're gonna make so much money. As long as you just keep doing that. Like think about all of like the big dogs you know in the space. Think about the hundreds of thousands of dollars, the millions of dollars that they have invested into themselves. They didn't get to where they're at by accident. It was deliberate. It was intentional. They clearly invested in themselves because they wanted to grow. And in order to actually grow, it's a matter of destroying your ego that's grabbing onto your ankle, pulling you back down, trying to keep you comfortable because it doesn't want to grow. It hurts. Think about when you're a kid, you have growing pains, your bones, your muscles are growing. Remember how painful that was? It sucked. It keeps you up at night. You couldn't sleep. It's the same thing. But with your ego, growing is painful. It requires you to do things that are uncomfortable, that are new, that you haven't done before. And guess what? There's risk involved, the risk of failure. Ask yourself this question. Are you playing to win or are you playing not to lose? If you're playing not to lose, not only are you probably still relying on organic marketing and you're probably still broke, but when you go up against somebody who's playing to win, they're willing to put everything on the line and go all in every single time and bet on themselves, you will get annihilated. I can promise you that. If you're playing to lose or if you're playing not to lose, you're playing it safe. Might as well go get a nine to five now because you won't be around two years from now. I guarantee you that. So I'm going to wrap things up here, guys. The message I really, really wish I heard a while back. Because I look back, I'm like, yeah, I just did 50K in a week cash with like 90 plus percent margins. But imagine that this haunts me. This keeps me up at night. I mean, I don't let it because I know that like it, everything was meant to happen exactly the way it was to get me to where I'm at now and where I'm going. But that thought crosses my mind sometimes where it's like, imagine if I knew this stuff two years ago, three years ago, six months ago. Imagine where I'd be at now. Don't let yourself make that same mistake. So, yeah. If you have a coaching business, you're doing at least 5, 10, 20, 30K a month, go check out the main video on my channel. Bring your credit card. If you book in a call, get ready to sign up. Not waste anyone's time. It's time to take it serious. It's time to actually achieve the things you claim that you want to achieve so badly. It's time to actually align your actions with your words. You ready to do that? I'm ready to help you. See you guys in the next video.